guys, it's Angelo. And as many of you have probably already seen, it looks like the priest will be getting some changes pretty soon. From a nerf to the discipline priest to legendary item buffs, as well as interesting buffs to Fey Guardians, we have quite a bit to cover for the upcoming PTR of patch 9.0.5 in World of Warcraft Shadowlands. The changes to Spirit Shell are not overly surprising, and the buffs to Kiss of Death and Cauterizing Shadows, two of our legendaries, are pretty nice to see. In the wake of countless Shadow Priests, on the other hand, already joining the Night Fey over the course of the last couple of weeks, the buff to Fey Guardians does seem a bit surprising to say the least, as the Night Fey can already easily be considered the Shadow Priest's strongest covenant, along with the Necrolords. Now, if you wish to join the discussion with anything Priest or World of Warcraft related, be sure to join the Discord server with the link in the description box below. Apart from that, if you want to join the discussion live, then be sure to head over to Twitch, where I'm live every Wednesday, Thursday and Sunday usually, at the evening at around 6pm Central European time. The link is of course in the description box below as well. Now, that being said, and without any further ado, let's go right ahead and have a look. Alright, so as always, I will read the patch notes first before giving you my insight on the specific topic I had just read about. Okay, let's first actually have a look at the Discipline Priest changes. Spirit Shell gets its shield value reduced from 100% to 80%. This means that when activating Spirit Shell, your Power Word Radiance, Penance and Atonement Healing create an Absorb Shield for only 80% of the value this healing has just done. This is a considerable nerf to Spirit Shell and therefore to the foundation of the current Discipline Priest meta as a whole. It's uncertain to foresee whether or not this will be problematic for the spec, but a 20% nerf to our by far most effective spell is not to be taken lightly. On the contrary though, Kiss of Death, one of the Discipline Priest's legendaries, gets a slight buff. The cooldown of Shadow Word Death is reduced by 12 seconds now rather than 8, but apart from that still has the same effect as it did before. Cauterizing Shadows, a general Priest legendary also gets a slight buff. When Shadow Ward Pain expires on a target, three allies are now healed for 75% of your spell power rather than 55%. Now both of these buffs to our legendaries are comparatively small, and I really don't foresee them currently changing anything. This may change though over the course of the PTR testing depending what the developers decide to do. Now, we also have a couple of anima power changes for Torghast. Those aren't really that important I'd like to think, at least not for competitive PvE, but I will cover them just in case you are interested. Enduring Spirit lets Vampiric Embrace, Pain Suppression and Guardian Spirit last 80% longer from previously 50%, and Fallen Priest's Blessings is just a new name for an already existing anima power called Phantasmal Healing, with a couple of changes. Mind Mancer Hand Gloves for the Venthyr among you gets a big buff, letting Mind Games deal 25% more damage and reversing 25% more damage and healing. Light Infused Egg has been reworked and gives your Mind Flay a 5% chance to grant you a power infusion, and giving Smite the same chance for Holy and for Disc. The Soul Sapper Anima Power has been completely removed, but for that we get two new Anima Powers, Soul of an Archon, which increases dot damage during power infusion by 100%, and Void Wrath Signet, which lets us summon a Void Wrath Guardian for one minute after killing an enemy with Shadow Word Death. This sounds pretty powerful actually. The Guardian deals 100% additional damage against enemies that are below 50% HP. Okay, interesting so far. Now let's take a look at the change which is probably the most interesting, and that is a buff to Fey Guardians. The first change here specifically I want to look at is a buff to the Fey Guardians conduit, Fey Fermata. It's been buffed by 20%, leaving an 80% effective copy of Fey Guardians on the previous target, lasting for 3.8 seconds from previously only a 60% effective copy. This should not really see the conduit use that all still to be honest, but I did want to point it out for you. Apart from that, Fey Guardians has received the following buffs. The Wrathful Fairy now refunds mana for any direct attack against the target, and the Guardian Fairy reduces damage taken by 15% from previously 10%. Finally, the Benevolent Fairy increases the cooldown recovery rate of a major ability by 150% from previously 100%. 
The damage reduction and the mana gain changes are not really that interesting, but the cooldown on our major ability definitely is. Now, since Fae Guardians is only really powerful as a Shadow Priest at the moment, and since I don't think that that's going to change really, let's focus on the Shadow Priest gain here. With this new Fae Guardians, you will basically have Void Form up every 40 seconds, rather than every 50 seconds as previously after using Fae Guardians. When thinking about a 4 minute fight, this would be another extra Void Form, and when thinking of fights which last 8 minutes, you would be looking at 2 extra Void Forms to play around with. This is actually going to be quite huge for us, and I'm not really thinking that this will go live this way, unless, well, Blizzard really, really wants us to play Night Fae. All in all, I'm interested in seeing if there are any other changes planned. The Shadow Priest, at least with current maximum gear levels, is lined up to be a strong DPS spec for the next patch, simply because our single target damage is so high at this point. Whether or not more Void Forms will directly result in more damage in situations where we are weak, so multi-target damage, well, that remains to be seen. When it comes to the changes to the Discipline Priest, it'll be interesting to see whether or not the nerfs to Spirit Shell will actually push the spec out of its powerful position completely. Now, honestly, who knows, we may see a Holy Priest meta gameplay soon, even though, honestly, I doubt it, unfortunately. Let me know what you think, though. How are you picturing these changes to be playing out in the future? Of course, as always, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, apart from that, a special thanks as always as well to every one of you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you want to stay updated on the content of this channel and have not already, then feel free to subscribe. A special thanks to my supporters over on Patreon, as well as all subscribers over on Twitch, you guys are awesome. Now, as always my friends, have a good one, get ready for patch 9.0.5, and I will see you all in the next one.